When performing an investigation, you need data on employees' activity. What happened? Are my suspicions correct? Is anyone else involved? What damage was caused? Spectre c &E Investigator provides you with a digital paper trail of an employee's actions and displays this information in an easy-to-read format, giving you the answers you need. Designed for focused investigations, Spectre c &E Investigator puts the evidence at your fingertips. Let's take a look at the core functionality of Spectre c &E Investigator. To start, we see that you can record snapshots of the user's desktop, and then at the interval you define. These snapshots can be played back much like watching a DVR. This lets you see exactly what happened in context. You can also capture chat communications such as Skype and Google Hangouts. The software will capture website activity, including how long someone was actively working on or viewing each site they visit. The Email Activity option gives you a log of inbound and outbound email, including web-based mail. Files Transferred provides a record of any downloads or uploads initiated by the end user. At times, recording keystrokes is necessary, like when dealing with highly privileged users who could bring the network down with a single keystroke. Application Usage provides insight into what applications were used and for how long. User status, including logon, keyboard, and mouse activity is logged so you know if employees are logging in at night or on weekends. File tracking gives your organization the ability to detect data theft, showing a digital trail of all document movement from shares to local disk, or more importantly, to cloud-based storage or removable disks. Finally, network activity allows you to see which applications are connecting to the internet, when and where the connections are made, the IP ports they use, and the amount of network bandwidth consumed by those connections. Now that we understand what data is collected, let's take a look at employee activity through the eyes of Spectre c &E Investigator. We need to know what Mick Eberhardt is doing. Using Spectre c &E Investigator, we simply select his computer or user account from the Control Center and launch the viewer. The viewer displays the event activity based on a particular date and time. For instance, Mick's web activity shows us he was searching for jobs on CareerBuilder, Dice, and Indeed.com. We can see what Mick was doing online, but also how long he was actively working on the websites he visited. To provide further context, we can view screenshots of Mick's desktop at that given point in time. The snapshot viewer allows us to play back events as if we were looking over Mick's shoulder when he performed these actions. As we can see, he is not happy with his boss and is venting to an outside friend while searching for jobs on company-owned computers. Spectre c and &E Investigator goes well beyond website activity. Looking here, we see chat communications. Both chat and email reporting provide logging of communications, but also the content of each conversation. This level of detail is needed when conducting an investigation to ensure that decisions are made based on a complete and accurate picture. The software recognizes keywords within the content of communications and alerts you of inappropriate usage, indications of data theft or fraud. Spectre c and &E Investigator can also alert when keywords are matched in chat, IM, email, websites, program names, keystrokes, file transfer information, and Windows captions. Keywords that have been detected can be reviewed underneath the Keywords Detected section of the viewer. We see here the keywords that were detected and the details surrounding those events. Concern that confidential data is being kept secure? Using the file tracking feature allows you to determine who touched files, which files were copied, moved, or printed, and how resources are being used. As we can see here, this particular user has successfully been able to steal sensitive company data using cloud and removable storage methods. Besides a detailed view of employee activity, c and &E will also provide a summary of events, such as top 10 websites visited, chat and email usage, and so forth. Spectre c and &E Investigator is a targeted monitoring solution, providing you with the proof you need to conduct fast, accurate investigations exactly when you need it.
Spectre CNE Investigator can quickly be installed on a computer with Windows operating system that is either 32 or 64 bit, consisting of either Windows 8, 7, or Vista for a client OS and Windows Server 2012, 2008, or 2003. The estimated disk cost can range 2 to 50 megabytes of free disk space for each recorder computer per day to store data. For example, a month-long investigation of five computers may use about 7.5 gigabytes. Disk space usage depends on user activity, recording settings, and how long you retain data. The default retention period is 30 days. Before downloading and installing Spectre CNE Investigator, there are some antivirus and anti-spyware programs that will look for and attempt to remove SpectreSoft files on a computer. These files could be removed during or after installation. To keep all components running properly, we need to exclude Spectre CNE server files from scanning. Some local antivirus clients may not allow excluding these files if they do not yet exist. So in this case, we would temporarily disable real-time protection before downloading the setup file and installing. After Spectre CNE is installed, then the files can be excluded. If you use Enterprise or Endpoint Antivirus software, make the server and client exclusions created on the antivirus server and apply them across the network. If antivirus programs are installed locally, you will need to make exclusions from within the AV client, as I am going to do now. After the real-time protection has been disabled, and if possible the exclusions have been set, then we would proceed with downloading the setup file. Now that we have the setup file downloaded, we will right-click on the file and run as administrator. This will then launch the auto extractor and launch the setup after unzipping the files. The setup may prompt you to install prerequisite software such as .NET Framework 4, which is included in the package. You are prompted to disable antivirus scanning. I am going to click OK since I disabled the antivirus autoprotect and the exclusions were added earlier. That's it for the installation. Now you will be prompted to add your product key to activate the licenses. Thanks for watching.